Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Great Day. It is time to dine on a dime with our friends from Price Chopper. So here is what we are going to do. We're going to grab the paper. We are going to grab the Price Chopper ad from the paper, and we're going to find out what in the world is on sale at Price okay, Chopper here what's today, on Molly. Sale, Lou? So just some of the featured items. Just want to show you guys here. Uh, again, we do have ground beef, two forty nine, guaranteed lowest price in town for that. Something else here that is kind of cool that Price Chopper does five for twenty. 25 are meat bundles. You pick five of them for 25 bucks, but uh, you're going to have a chance to get six of them. For 25 to get a bonus one with that we take a peek inside to see what's going on inside cheese is on sale they have a special deal here too you buy eight items and you get some money off and cheese you'll be able to get down as low as a buck 49 and if you go on the back uncle ben's rice something else i want to point out to you right here 89 cents for flavored uncle ben's rice that is a heck of a deal so we're going to take these things molly and we're going to create something let's do it all right so we can dine on a dime right. so you see that the frying pan is already going and we do have those pork loin chops that were featured for $2.99 a pound. We have those and we have a little bit of seasoning on top of those chops. Now the seasoning is something that you can create yourself just equal parts of tones of with cumin or thyme. Now we threw a little thyme in there, some garlic powder, black pepper, a little bit of cayenne. So we want more to put a little, a little bit, bit more, more spice on, on top sure. of one that I missed yeah. there. So you have a, just put a little bit on there. Now you're sure. going to just, all you're going to do is brown these. So yep. go ahead and flip those mm -hmm. over. And so as you're flipping those over, we'll let you know uh, just some of the other things that you're going to combine. Now, you're going to get yourself a can of cream of mushroom soup, a little bit of milk, maybe about a half a cup of milk, and then a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. That goes all in to the mixture, the uh, cream of mushroom sauce mixture. So we're going to have this down. But we need to prepare the base for our chops, taters, and rice. Ooh, That'll be cool. nice. You know what I did? Someone needs to run the back. I left the rice in the microwave in the back. I went to go heat it up a little bit. Went to go get the rice. So while you're doing all this and getting this all going, you want to make sure you get your Uncle Ben's rice, okay? You're going to prepare the Uncle Ben's rice. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. Just so like the box says, right? Do exactly what the box says, and you're good. Now, take the t potato that you're going to get here, the potato, and you're going to lay it on the bottom of the pan. Spray a pan with some nonstick cooking spray and then just mm -hmm. layer with some potato slices sure. on the bottom of the pan. A single layer will take care of you. Try to get a step ahead to make it a little easier to scoop the rice out and okay. left it in the microwave. Go Way with the go. onions next then? Yeah, and then layer onions All on right. top of that. Take your parking. You bet you. Almost dumped it on the floor. That would have been good. So we're layering. We layer that on there. Now, nice. the chops, you're going to brown for about a minute or two on each side. Yeah, just kind of seal in the flavor, I exactly. think. Exactly. Right? Just want to brown them. Great. Okay. You want them on there? Yep. Get them on there. We'll do. So we're going to take the chops and lay them on top of what you just created here. Four to six is a good safe number for you. Couple left over for the next day. There right? you go. No yeah. question about that. That's good lunch. Good stuff. It has lunch written all over it. Okay. Okay, you got it? Mm -hmm. We have gloves on, so we're good here. Now, uh, make sure you have just a little bit of your seasoning. Uh, you, be creative with your seasoning, too. Just take a couple of things maybe you haven't used before on your seasoning when you're browning them, so you have them taken care of there. Now, here's a cool part, too. Um, you want to take the rice that you prepared, your Uncle Ben's rice that you prepared, and you want to put a mound of rice on top of all the pork chops. So I believe we have a little Rice Scoop mounder? Here. Is it a rice mounder? Yeah, it's a rice mounder. <laughs> it's a quarter cup is what it is. So mound it on top of each chop. I suppose you could skip the potatoes if you're trying to... You don't need potatoes you don't and rice. Skip the potatoes. <laughs> it's either this or you could do stuffing. If you want to do stuffing, Sir, ooh, put yum. stuffing on top too. Oh, okay. That also, also works on this one. It's a hearty meal. This is everything uh, right here. That's all you'll need. You don't need anything else. No, that's right. And then if that's not to your liking. We're going to make it even a little bit more decadent. We're going to take the mushroom okay. and a little bit of milk yep. and a little bit of Worcestershire mm -hmm. and you're just going to drizzle it over. Yum. Keep that moist here. as it bakes. Exactly. Yep. Very nice. I love rice and rice and pork chops together is a classic combo mm -hmm. I feel like. And that is pretty much what you need to do here. Now just take some aluminum foil and you're going to cover it up and you're going to have your oven going about 350 and you're going to want to cook this for about 30 minutes or so. Just roughly 30 minutes, 35 minutes. The chops will come up to about 120 degrees or so, which is cool because you're not done cooking them yet. And now at that time, you're going to take the aluminum foil off 
of the chops. We'll just say that those are already done. They're already cooked for that length of time. And then what? You're hitting it with cheese too. You're gonna hit a little crazy. bit. We want this to be good. You're so you're crazy. gonna hit it with a little bit of cheese. This is about a quarter cup of cheese. So you take a little quarter cup of cheese after it's cooked for a while, and you're gonna sprinkle it all over the top nice. of what you've created and put it back in the oven again for another five, ten minutes. You want to get the chops up to about 140 degrees. That's the magic. 140, okay. 145 degrees. You don't want to overdo them. No, they get tough. You over you overcook pork, it's a no good. It turns into what you put on the bottom of your shoe. You don't want that. <laughs> so we are going to take this. We're going to put this in here. We're going to take the magic oven to our <laughs> left, and we're going to withdraw the finished product. Ooh, Lou, pretty. So that's what it will come out looking like. And, Those are awesome. Uh, this is almost fork tender if you get the temperature nice. right of the work. meat. And again, you have everything. You have the potatoes, you have the onions, you have the rice, you have the cheese. This is a good hearty meal and it's all done in this one little container here and maybe the pan. That's yeah. about it. That's nice. all you have. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you like this, you want to try this, uh, all you have to do is go to our Great Day Facebook page and Put down chops, taters, and rice. That's what we created today because at the end of the show today, Molly, we're giving away a $25 gift card from our friends at Price Chop. Awesome. So really simple. We're going to dive into this. If you want the recipe, it is online, so you have a chance to jump online and grab it and get all your ingredients and so much more at a price you're not going to believe at Price Chopper.